Welcome to our installation tutorial video for the Blue Eddy EP900 and B500. Today, I'm here to guide you through the installation process of EP900 and B500. To kick things off, please take a moment to go over the manual disclaimer and the electricity application notice. To get started, make sure you have the following. Step 1. Unboxing. Now, take a look at what's inside each package. Here are all the accessories that come with the EP900. And that's what's in your B500 Accessories Kit. Next, I'll walk you through an overview of the equipment and how to connect it all up. Step 2. Stacking up the equipment. To start, stack up the EP900 and B500. Place the base on the ground and adjust the height of the leveling feet until the base is stable. Keep a distance of 5 cm to 5.5 cm between the base and the wall. Place the B500 battery pack on the base and align the bumps with the notches to secure it in place. To assemble the mounting brackets, attach the brackets to the inverter packs first. Then, tighten the nut and make sure the bracket is tight against the wall. Mark the drilling position on the wall. Remove all units. Drill a pilot hole at the marked position. Hammer in the expansion bolt until it's flush with the wall. Repeat the same process for the remaining pre-drilled holes. Finally, move all units back and secure them to the wall. Connect the ground wires between the EP900 and B500 unit and between the B500 units. For the battery expansion cables connecting B500 units, both ends of the cable have a quick-release structure. Connect the battery expansion cables between the B500 units. You'll hear a click when the connection is properly secured.
Remove the protection covers from the positive and negative terminals on the left side of the EP900. Remember, the EP900 power cable has a quick-release structure on one end only. Connect the battery power cables between the EP900 and B500 unit. You'll hear a click when the connection is properly secured. Once connected, put those protective covers back on. Both ends of the communication cable have a quick-release structure. Connect the communication cable. Step 3. EP900. Connect the IoT controller, plug the controller into the inverter, and then secure it to the wall. Attach the OT terminals to the cables and connect them to the appropriate grid or backup terminals. Put the casing back on and tighten the cable securing covers. Step 4.
First, locate the electricity meter in the distribution box. Connect the EP900's grid cable to the rapid shutdown switch. Attach the red and black live wires to the 2P circuit breaker. Link the white neutral wire and copper ground wire to the ground neutral bus bar. Locate a 2P circuit breaker in the main panel. Connect the two live wires from the switch to the breaker. Attach the neutral and ground wires to the ground neutral bus bar. Take the EP900 backup cable to the sub panel. Connect the live wires to the right side terminals of the transfer switch. Attach the neutral wire to the neutral bus bar. Connect the ground wire to the ground bus bar. Connect the main panel and sub panel. Attach two live wires to the left side terminals of the transfer switch. Fasten the neutral wire to the neutral bus bar. Connect the ground wire to the ground bus bar. Link the other ends of these wires to the main panel. Attach the two live wires to the left two-pin breaker. Connect the neutral and ground wires to the ground neutral bus bar. You can connect them to various outlets, such as those in the living room, bathroom, kitchen, master room, bedroom, and more. Clamp the EP900 CTs to the main circuit. The arrow points to the grid. That's all there is to connecting the EP900 to a home's main panel. Step 5. Attach the left and right side covers to the EP900 and B500 units. Insert the rubber cover into the EP900 handle. That's all for today. We hope you have a pleasant and enjoyable user experience. Thanks for watching and see you next time.